Nine people have travelled all the way from the small village of Newmarket on Fergus in County Clare to New York City. They are performing a play called Liberty's Ladder, which commemorates all those lost in 9-11. In particular, Irish-American firefighter Sean Patrick Tallon. The play has been shown in two locations. One is the Stage Left Studios on West 30th Street, and the other is Rory Dolan's Irish bar in Yonkers, only a stone's throw from where Sean lived with his father Patrick and mother Eileen. I mean, it was awful what they saw, like the elevators. When he got to the building, the elevators came down like and bodies were coming out, burdened bodies were coming out of the elevators. So he didn't, you know, all he was thinking about what he should do, he wasn't really, couldn't possibly call us, nobody did. That evening, like, it wasn't definite, but I knew that, you know, if he was, you know, okay, he would have definitely called me. Like, I knew he would have called by five or six when everything had calmed down and I would have heard from him. So I knew that something, you know, was really wrong. But at the same time, I had hope maybe that they could, you know, find them. Or also maybe that some of them had ran down to the basement. I had hope. You always had hope. I always had hope, like for the weeks after. But then uh, his body was found October 22nd. That was like uh, six weeks after. Like I accepted how bad it was and something terrible bad had happened. But then around uh, the middle of October, I discovered uh, the firefighters' radios didn't work, that they didn't hear the call to come out. So I was like devastated over that. I was very, very upset over that. I couldn't imagine that these firefighters were inside and that they had no contact. So that meant uh, Sean may never have known the South Tower fell. He was in the North Tower. So I was really very upset over that. I was also very upset that um, he was like a probie. He was only 10 months in the fire department. He still wasn't like the real firefighter and they, they allowed a lot of probies to go in that day. Uh, I thought like, you know, they should have maybe tried to, you know, protect them or think they weren't experienced enough. And he was found under a massive steel beam, beam like one of the big steel beams with um, seven other firefighters and some civilians. So see, if they had got the call, maybe they wouldn't be climbing anymore, they would have come down. They did get the call to come out, but they never heard it. For the younger cast members, some who were unemployed, others who have had to deal with serious personal problems in recent years, it has been a life-changing experience. Coming to a city like New York and acting in a play like this has really opened their eyes to a whole new world. Son, you're more a man than ever. A hero of impeccable character. You tell your story. Your message will be heard. Well, what we wanted to see was tell them that we were thinking that they take us instead of them. Take us because we are fighters. Stronger than fire, oh man. The hope, the dreams, the pride you had in each one of us made us invincible. We've been down in Ground Zero meeting the family, the Talons. You know, they actually gave me their son's helmet, his actual fire helmet, presented to me that in the house, with the, he brought us for dinner. And they gave me that to use in the play, and it was just so emotional, you know, and that made the whole thing real. This was before my first performance in New York. And the minutes before going on stage in New York, I had the helmet in my hand, and I was looking at it, and it just gave me this boost, it's like I have to give this 110%, you know. Yeah, I found it opened a lot of opportunities for me. Do you want to go back into music? To go back singing and that, do you know? And I'm going to do that in September in college. Do you know, it has really opened my eyes. Coming to a different city and seeing different things and being able to do it, you know. It was you who gave us the courage. It was you that gave us the strength to carry on that day. And people say we're brave. We hear you from heaven. And we wonder, is it not the bravest that are left behind? 
Is it not? My wife who raise our children, or the mother that weeps but carries on. I know I was a big strong man, but to them, you're just a little son. It's the 17th of March, and Fifth Avenue is the epicenter for the city's annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. One of the main features this year are the New York Firefighters. Since 9-11, they have become the heroes of the city, and the crowd clap, cheer and shout in admiration. After eight days, it's time to return home. But Kelly and the group can take comfort in the fact that their trip has been a success. They've played their part in keeping the memory and legacy of Sean Patrick Tallon alive and have sent out a strong message of support to all those Irish Americans. On the first day of January, it And um, it was very hard, like uh, my husband got brain cancer then in 2007. But uh, he truly so missed Sean. And um, I think he couldn't just imagine what happened. And also like what happened to America, that something so bad could happen to America. Oh, I think about him every day. was really like awful and he used to play the button accordion so we'd miss you know him playing that he'd be in, in his room and he'd be practicing it away and just everything you know just the whole coming and going and 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 cooking for him he loved to eat you know and I didn't mind cooking and he'd pick me up at work sometimes and all oh, like just having him I think what they will take from it is the history and the reality of 9-11 and they will take as well the, the fact that we have some young actors and actresses there that had never been on stage before. It has opened up an opportunity for them. I suppose getting involved in this it made me look deeper into it and actually realise it's more than what I was watching on television and the news. Like the pain is just so unbelievable, you know, and that really hit me when once I got the role. I really wanted to do it justice, you know. Like, we do this for the benefit of other people, and like, it helps us, it's brilliant because it boosts our confidence. And if every one of them that comes to the show has a smile going out the door, that's, we're happy, and that's it. Oh, I was so touched that um, this group from Ireland wanted to reach out to our families and, and, and New York and let us know that they haven't forgotten what happened to New York and all the people that we lost that day. It was just so touching to think that, you know, Ireland still remembers. I love her, I love her, I love her. 